And one day we're out there, we're kind of overseeing this process, and a guy pulls up in an 18-wheeler and he goes, hey, I'm here. And we're like, awesome, who, who are you? And he's like, ah, oh, I drove up from Texas, I got all these clothes for everybody. I'm Steve Sherrill, I'm the COO here at Golden. I worked for the city of New York for about five years under uh, Mike Bloomberg when he was mayor and Hurricane Sandy hit in 2012. And one of the amazing things we saw was a huge outpouring of support from around the country, really. And I was overseeing basically a debris removal site. And there was just full of debris, houses, buildings, trash that had been collected and put there. It probably was up three stories high. It was enormous. And one day we're out there and a guy pulls up in an 18 wheeler and he's like, ah, oh, I drove up from Texas. I got all these clothes for everybody. And it very quickly became clear. We had no idea what to do with them. There was a rainstorm coming the next day. So the stuff was gonna get wet and moldy if we left it outside. You know, for Golden, we wanna make it obvious what is needed, where are the resources, what can be filled where. It's come from real world experience. It's come from seeing, you know, three tons of clothing, essentially having to kind of go to a landfill or get sent back to Texas because you just didn't know where to send it and it was gonna rot otherwise. Traditionally, mutual aid organizers will often do matching manually. They'll try to collect as many, as much information from volunteers as possible. I live here, I have a car, I can lift boxes, I can walk a dog. And they'll collect as much, as many needs as possible. I'm stuck in my house and can't get out to get food. I've lost my job and don't have access to critical medical resources. Um, I broke my leg and can't take out the trash. For the organizers who are beginning to scale and getting a lot of content that they're working with, connecting a lot of needs to a lot of volunteers, they're beginning to see that that amount of connection that has to be done manually, matching needs and offers volunteers to folks who need help, becomes incredibly time consuming, incredibly cumbersome, and the real time verification and matching of those becomes extremely difficult. And that takes an incredible amount of work. And we just want to automate all the back-end logistics and making sure people are matched and needs are getting filled. So in many ways, we try to just skip the matching process to make sure that organizers see in real time what has been filled, what has not been filled, to understand where they need to spend time um, aggregating for the resources to, to, to deliver the services that are needed. It's been really exciting to see a wide range of organizers do this. There's a, the wonderful organizer um, in, in Tucson, Arizona, who focuses on um, LGBT youth equality and, and justice initiatives. And, you know, he identified that their, their, their community was very much at risk with losing their jobs and not having access to food. Um, they were able to very, very quickly spin something up to reach out to the local community. We wanted to make sure that these tools, which are totally free, get in the hands of the people who need them most. We wanted to give people easy ways to organize uh, the collection of needs in the community and then connect uh, ready, willing, and able volunteers. And if there are people out there who want an organized way to, to satisfy the needs of their community, great, Golden's there, it's free, um, and it's really quick and easy to get started.